Hi, this is Doris. Thanks for tuning in. And in this video, I'm going to take you through my process of doing thumbnail sketches to figure out the kind of layout I want to do for a particular piece. This uh, phrase, always endeavor to find some interesting variation, is one that Helm Watsko has used in his book about uh, hand lettering. And so you can see I've already started. This is a screened recording that I did from the process that where I used my iPad. Um, it's Procreate and I'm using the Apple Pencil as well. And you can see I have a normal screen there with some guidelines already set in place. And so what I'm trying to do with this phrase is first of all figuring out which are the important words that I'm going to want to uh, highlight and then putting them in different variations and different layouts and with different styles to see which ones um, I'm gravitating towards, which ones I like, which ones I think are in my style and which ones I'm you know happy with kind of refining. And so on that first layer I did um, a couple of things. Here's the second layer that I've started. We're going to go back to the first layer in a minute. It's basically what I'm coming to find is I like scripts and I like round and swirly bits. So um, that's what I'm going to go for. And this particular thing that I'm trying to do here is, is called a cartouche where the piece of lettering fills a certain shape. So I'm going for an oval shape and that means that the lettering is contained in this shape and so I'm trying to make the letters fit the shape and you can imagine kind of the, the egg shape around it and you see I'm adding in extra lines to make sure that it looks a little bit rounder as well. And um, yeah. So this is already kind of refining a little bit and going into what what's it going to look like? Do I want to keep it monoline? Do I want to add some different weights and some different contrasts as well? And if you know that I have the copper plate class on Skillshare, I'm a fan of contrast, so I'm always going to try a little bit of that. Oh, and in this example, I remember um, I wrote a blog post about what our handwriting can say about our personality styles and there was one bit about really pronounced ascenders and descenders so I was trying to find a way to make the descenders really pronounced and that last word variation there is in a style called Spencerian lettering not to be confused with Spencerian calligraphy um, that I recently tried out again to prepare the thumbnail for Casey Shorman's interview that is also coming up on the blog so anyway so now I'm going over the different layouts, the different thumbnails that I've made. I always try to make it like three to five to give myself some time for exploration. And um, this one you can see is if I have the always and script is going to interfere with the layer below it. And the first one is kind of plain. Although what I do like about it is that the phrase is divided into five bits and they mirror one another. If you see that we have the all caps top and bottom row and then we have a bit of script and then we have a smaller all caps in the middle so that there's nice symmetry. The one that I'm working on right there, the, the lower kind of cartouche also, I love it. I love a good ligature. Um, but I could already tell trying to sketch it out that I would have to fidget and kind of overwork it to make sure that the, all the holes are filled. So this cartouche oval shape is the one that I decided. <laughs> 